What up, people? Coach V, New Breed Boxing. Every year, all across the world, there are tons of amateur boxers competing in tournaments with the big dream to advance on to the Olympic level, hopefully win that gold medal, and then be in position to negotiate with all the top promoters. They'll all be throwing money at you, hopefully sign you, and you'll have the right management team and promotional team behind you to carry you through your pro career and hopefully become a champion right off into the sunset of success story. If you're competing in the sport, why not see how far you can take it, right? So that's what you want to do. That's the optimal goal for anybody competing in the sport of boxing. So here I'm going to give you a few tips on how to win these tournaments. And I'll do another video on how they work. So stay ready so you don't got to get ready. Once you go from club shows to tournaments, the level of competition is going to step up tremendously. You start out with what's called novice, which is under 10 fights. If you don't win that the first time around, because you can't really advance with the novice um, you know, division, it's, it's good practice though. Um, open, open class, you know, ten, over 10 fights, that's where you really start advancing on. If you don't win novice class the first time around, don't wait till next year to fight novice again. That's like Billy Madison playing kickball with the kindergartners. There's no point, you're just regressing. Learn from the experience, step your game up, come back stronger and smarter the next year, and then hopefully that'll be your, your time to shine. So, number one, pick the right weight class and maintain it. I got guys, for, I got a friend of mine that won a national championship title because most of the guys, he only fought like once or twice. Most of the guys lost to the scale. They kept showing up fat. Don't show up a fat bastard. This is completely preventable. This is just maintenance. Calculate your macros, learn how to maintain your diet properly. Make sure your, you know, your cardio is in, on point and you're checking your weight every single day. Because if you show up overweight, these are elimination tournaments. Half the guys get eliminated every fight. The other half move on to advance and fight each other. You don't want to have to wait till next year because you were too fat. Inexcusable. Number two, make sure that you're sparring the right people. You can't be sparring your friends in the backyard or just training at home. You got to be in a real gym, hopefully against guys that already won these tournaments or guys that advanced far with a good coach that's got some experience. Some of these coaches are strictly just dedicated to the amateur championship circuit. That's it. They don't even want to be pro coaches. Their name is well known. They got a great reputation. So you want to make sure that you are prepared to bring what's needed to win against that level of opposition. The third thing, which is something that is just basic responsibility. And I've seen guys that were doing great. One of my fighters did this to me. He um he had a court date the same day as the fight. He thought he was gonna get out of court or whatever in time. Bro, you, you gotta check the date, check the time, check the place, and plan in advance. Number one, you wanna make sure you have enough time to prepare your training camp. You stop sparring beforehand so you don't show up injured and not pass medicals. The, the other thing is the travel time, you gotta check all that. You don't wanna get there late. They're not gonna stop the show for you. The, the other guy's going to show up to the ring. They're going to go, where's your competition at? I don't know. He's on the way. Tough shit. You're out of here. Come back next year. Just being responsible, man. You know, these are the things that when you start taking yourself serious, you got to have the discipline to make sure that you set up all these circumstances in advance to eliminate any potential for, uh, you know, for any unexpected problems. Okay. So that's pretty much the basics. Show up on weight. Make sure you're sparring and training with the right people and make sure you give yourself enough time to get there on time, fully prepared in advance, and you won't have no issues. One more tip, if you wanna check it out, um, online, online they have a lot of videos. Um, you can look up guys in your weight class all the way up to the Olympic level usually that won the tournaments, count how many punches they throw per round. Just look at their vibe, like how they move around. That'll give you a good idea if you're new to these tournaments of how to conduct yourself and what kind of uh, what kind of energy to bring to these shows because they're critiquing everything from the second you come out to the second the bell rings. So anyway, hope you found this informative. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Go check me out on Instagram at coach.v underscore. And for you new guys, online course link is in the description. It's tremendous. It'll help you get ready for the gym. Any comments, put them in the comment section. Any questions, I want to hear what you guys think about this. Any of you guys that are competing in these tournaments, or you've already won in the past, I'm gonna hear a little bit about your experience. Anyway, till the next time, we up out of here. Ow.